Fish on. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I know. Well, fish on. You're not the big one I was looking for, but you're a fish. Good morning. Welcome back, casual casters. It's Kurt here, and we're out here in Sacramento, out on a familiar lake. Gonna see if we can't get some early morning frog bites. But uh, I've got six poles with me this morning. Uh, I've got four set up right here. I've got two soft plastics. I've got a topwater frog, um, and I've got a jig right there. And then I've got two more poles in the car here, ready to go, which is a uh, crankbaits um, and. What else we got on there? Crankbait and a spinnerbait. So that's what we're fishing with today. I've got, I do have tackle with me, of course, but it's a familiar lake, so I pretty much know what I'm going to be using today, which is why I brought so many poles. I just tied on what I should need, and I shouldn't have to retie too much at all today. Fingers crossed. But let's go get them. Also, remember to go ahead, subscribe, hit that notification button, go ahead, uh, comment, share and uh, let's keep this going. All right, so we see a lot of big bass around here, guys. Let's see if we can't actually bring one in. Seeing them's only part of the battle. Gotta catch them. So I'm fishing right inside of this weed ring here because I've seen some big bass cruising the shoreline. It's a little early for them to be up this uh, shallow, but this is a shade line behind all the trees here. So that would explain why they're up this shallow this early in the high heat. There we go, fish on. You're not the big one I was looking for, but you're a fish. Right up shallow. All right. Yeah, no, you're a good one though. It's all spawned out, or a male. Let's take a better closer look. Hey, come here, come here. I promise I'm gonna let you go in just two seconds, dude. Relax. Come on, my man. Oh, just get you out of here. Okay, you're off. And I'm caught. There you go. All right, you're a good one. I've got the scale right here. Let's go ahead and put you on the scale just for the viewers. I think I've got the scale. Nope, I don't have the scale. It's in the other other bag. But there you are. Good healthy three pounder, I think. Maybe two and a half. But let's put you back in. Oh, look, your friends, your friends are right here coming up to see you. Oh, you took care of it yourself, man. Off you go. So guys, we're sight fishing. That's how we've caught that other one today that's how we're going to catch the next couple All right while the sun's still up here while our x-ray vision glasses still work we're going ahead and scanning the shoreline for the bigger bass that are looking for a quick meal right All right, that's a good one. Go ahead and get him off here.
Uh, it's about the size of the first one we caught. Not too bad. First one's on the other side of the lake, though. All right. Let's let you go, bud. Goodbye. All right. Let's get another. Fish on. Fish on. Not a big one. Let's go, bud. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. I know. You're trying. Come here. Right through your nose, dude. There you go. Looking right at the camera, eh? All right, little guy. About a pound. Goodbye. He won't bother me. I said he won't bother me. I've got three dogs of my own. Yeah, no, I, I've caught fish right alongside dogs splashing to me. That doesn't bother me at all. Uh-huh. No, just a little guy. Got to get him off right away. He's got his stick, huh? It's a big stick. It's a log. It's a log. That's all right. Yeah, whenever you see me down here, by all means, that doesn't bother me. That's a little dink. Let's get you out of here, bud. Yeah, please understand, I don't think dogs scare fish away at all. Fish on. Let's go. He's trying to get off in the weeds. No, sir. Thought you're getting off that last jump, huh? Nope. All right. That's our robo worm. Uh, I think it's a shad color. Blue, chartreuse, and white. Yes, sir. Let's get you out of there. All right, and there you are, pound and a half, two pounder maybe. There we go, guys. Take a look. All right, let's let you go. Let's get you out of here, and let's catch your friends. All right, let's get another one. That's a good one. That's a fish. 
That's what they say about watching your line run on you guys. I didn't even feel that hit. I just saw my line move. And that's not quite a good one, but it's a fish. All right. Let's get you out of here, dude. Hold on. Yep, yep, yep. Keeps keep splashing me. That's fine. Dude, you gotta quit making yourself. All right, that's a little guy right there. Let's get you back in the water, man. So, oh, come on, dude. You're only about a pound. Yep, 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 yep. Let's get you back in. There you go. Some off. We're now going weightless Texas rig. All right, fish on, let's go. Barely felt that hit until I had him. Let's get him off here. Try to get another one before we lose light. All right, so that is the first one of the day. Again, about, probably about a pound and a half. Let's get them going. You didn't have to kick water at me, bud. I'll let you go. All right, guys, let's get another one. Lake's closed, man. Yep, no, I'm going. Hey, the one thing, uh, this lake is no body contact. So I saw you stepping in the water when you were fishing. Uh, yeah, no more than a couple of feet. No, I know, but it's just strictly no human, no animal fighting. Okay. Okay, absolutely, man. No problem. So, uh, well, obviously when you're loading your canoe, uh, your kayak, you well, step in for yeah. a second. That, that's uh, why I assumed that was okay. Yeah, I know, but if you do that, you should have like the Texas uh, footwear and stuff like this. Mm -hmm. the boots. Yeah, the, the water shoes. But yeah, but yeah. It's, it's one of the, the policies for the... Reservoir, so it's not really like a lake, it's a man made, it's a water reservoir. Yeah, no, I gotcha. Community, so. Perfect, no, I understand. Okay. I, I, won't, I won't step in anymore, no except to load my boat, but yeah. Thank yep. You. 